Hello students, good evening to all of you. Myself, Dr. Surendra Singh, once again, I'm here to give you the sample paper for Science and Technology, Meghalaya Board of School Education, Class 10, 2023. The examination is going to be held in the month of March, 2023. So uh, let me wish you all the best for the coming board examination. And uh, let me start directly uh, with the sample paper of Physics 2023. So now let's go to the reflection and reflection of light. What is the convergent beam of light? Then what is divergent beam of light? What is diffraction of light? State the three common characters of light. Then what is plan mirror? State the characteristic of an image formed by a plan mirror. Differentiate between the concave mirror and concave mirror. Define focal length of a spherical mirror. Write the relation between the focal length and radius and curvature of a spherical mirror. State the two uses of each convex mirror and concave mirror. State the characteristic of image formed by a concave mirror when the object is placed, number A, at the center of curvature, number B, between center of curvature and focus, and C, between focus and hole and D at the focus L. Now, number 12, define magnification of a spherical mirror or a plan mirror. Magnification M is equal to plus one. What does it signify? Okay, then there is a sum. Uh, an object three centimeter high produces a real image 4.5 centimeter high when placed at a distance of 20 centimeters from a concave mirror. Then you have to calculate number one, the position of image, number B, focal length of the concave mirror. Again, there is a sum. Okay, an object placed in front of a diverging mirror at a distance of 30 centimeters forms a virtual and erect image, which is one fifth of the size of the object. Calculate the position of image, the focal length of the diverging mirror. Okay, then next question is what is lateral? Inversion, what is optical density? Differentiate between the inverted image and electrically inverted image. Distinguish between a real and a distinguish between a rarer and denser medium. What is lateral displacement? But the refractive index of a material is you have 1.4. Velocity of light in vacuum is 3 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Then you have to find the velocity of light in the material. Differentiate between the concave and convex lens. Then what is the power of a lens? Calculate the focal length of a lens of power minus 2.75 diopter. Next question will be write the relation between image distance V of the distance U and focal length F of the spectral mirror. Then the next question will be write the lens formula. Then there is sum of the lens. A convex lens produces a real and inverted image 2.5 times magnified at a distance of 25 centimeter from the lens, then calculate the focal length of the lens. Then we go to the human eye and the colorful world. What is the function of retina of human eye? The next, what is the function? Ciliary muscles of human eye. Define cone cell and rod cell of retina of human eye, state their functions. So define the power of recommendation of human eye. Then five, define normal eye. Defective eye, the least distance of distinct vision, the distance of far off vision. Then a person is advised to wear spectacle with a convex lens. Then what type of defect of vision is he suffering from? Differentiate between the myopia and hypermetropia. What is presbyopia, right? The two causes of this defect. Okay, what is dispersion of light? What are the causes of dispersion of white light? What is scattering of light? Why does sky appears blue? Name the components of white light that deviates through different angles when passing through a triangular glass prism. Then electricity, differentiate between the static electricity and current electricity. Define insulators and conductors. Why conductors conduct electricity? The next question, define one column of the charge. Then next question, define electric current at one ampere. Then name a device which measure electric current. How this device is connected? Next question will be define electric potential and also the potential difference. Define one board name device which measure potential difference in an electric circuit. How the device 
disconnected, the 50 coulomb of, char of the charge is drawn from infinity to a given point in an electric field. When 62.5 joules of work is done, what is the potential at that point? So then the next question, what is an electric circuit? Differentiate between the open circuit and closed circuit. Then calculate the current in a circuit if 500 coulomb of charge passes through 10 minutes. Next question, define resistance of a conductor. On what factor resistance of a conductor depend? Then define one ohm. Next question, state and explain the ohm's law. Okay, define resistivity of a conductor. Next question, define the one kilowatt hour. Next question, what is overloading? Next question, what is short circuiting? Next, then, there's a sum. Calculate the resistance of a conductor if the current flowing through it is 0.2 ampere, where the applied potential difference is 0.84. Differentiate between the electromagnet and, if, and also permanent magnet. Then what is an electric motor? State the principle of working of an electric motor. And the last question of physics is, here, what is an AC generator? Stay in the working principle of an AC generator. So, students, these are the questions for have to prepare for the physics uh, part of the science and technology. And I hope that you have already learned these uh, the answers of these questions. Many of you, and then those who have learned not learned, please try to learn these questions and prepare, revise, and re revise for the coming exam. Now, once again, my side, best of luck. May God help you to appear the exam in an excellent manner. Thank you very much, all of you listening my video, watching my video. Thank you very much once again. So in the last, I request all of you to please, please subscribe my channel and also like it. And also inform to your friend that they should also visit my YouTube channel to get the good mark the coming exams. Once again, thank you very much and best of luck. May God bless all of you.